Hi, I'm Pranav, a developer advocate here at Talos, and today I will be showing you how to implement a time-based OTP service using a key manager like the CypherTrust platform. Time-based OTPs have become a very popular multi-factor authentication service that many companies have been implementing. However, when we understand the infrastructure that goes into maintaining time-based OTPs, you will notice that there's a single point of failure which it got, which costs you as a company a lot. Whenever a user comes to set up the, this form of multi-factor authentication, they use an authenticator app like Google Authenticator or Authy to scan a, a, a QR code, which shares a secret key and stores it locally on their phone. The server also does the same thing, but stores it on its server or a database. Um, and every time it needs to generate a code to verify that the user also has the same code, they take the secret key, they um, hash it with the Unix Epoch timestamp to generate a six digit code. And that's how you're able to verify that a user uh, is who they say they are. However, if a bad actor gains access to the company's server or a database by accident, uh, this could cost your company a lot as once I have a user's secret key, I can now generate as many passcodes as I want and gain access to the user's account. To prevent this from happening, it's best recommended to use a key manager such as the CypherTrust platform. The CypherTrust platform is built uh, to be able to store keys very securely. The CypherTrust platform also offers the, the advantage of, of using an HSM to encrypt your key manager so that no bad actor could get access to your keys. Now let's see a demo in action. Click on the link in the description and head over to this GitHub uh, repository that contains all the code to perform it. And then click on the link demo in the readme. And now you'd be taken to a simple page that has a you know a basic demo uh, login flow. Uh, so we're just gonna click on sign up here. And in the sign up, you know, ideally you would have a username, a password, confirm password, and all that fancy stuff. In the next page, you would ask them to set up their OTP or their multi-factor authentication. But in this case, I'm just going to, you know, set up something simple with my own name in front of and just hit sign up. Once I do that, it's now going to CypherTrust Manager, fetching a key and loading it in. Now, all I need to do is open Google Authenticator on my phone and click on scan QR code. Once I do that, as you can see, um, it says CypherTrust demo, Pranav 372D, that's the key name that it generates out of here. And uh, now my code that I get is 070280. And when I hit verify, it can successfully verify it. Now, after 30 seconds have passed, the code has changed. And if I just try to verify the same OTP again, it's gonna say OTP verification failed, right? But what's really cool about this is that if I just go into the CypherTrust platform and click on keys, what you'll notice it, it is it just created a, a symmetric key, an AES256 key called Pranav372D, which is being used to set up the OTP service. So uh, all of that was just done with three blocks of code. If you just head back over to the GitHub repository, click on the source folder, go into utils, you'll see there are two files. The first one being helping creating a JWT. So if you want to talk to the CypherTrust platform and use its API set, you need to be able to authenticate with it. And we do that using a JWT. After that, we create a key by hitting its API, requesting an AES-256 key um, and once stack gets created, we need to be able to export that key so we can pull it, render it into a QR code, as well as share it with the, with the device, uh, with the client's device being Google Authenticator or Authy. And um, while exporting it, there's also an option to make it more secure by wrapping it in another public key. Uh, but if you don't know what that is, you don't really need to worry about it. But just with those three blocks of code, you can now build a multi-factor authentication time-based OTP service uh, that is super secure using the CypherTrust platform. 
Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'd be happy to respond to them. Thank you.